Hey, what's going on, my boy? Yeah, man. Nice no, engraving. What's up, man? Now, I, I, I just saw the article. Bleacher Report just put out an article talking about oh, the Ravens. They'll talk to uh, talk about Julio Jones if the price is right. Yeah, man. Same stuff we've been. I, I know that's exactly what we've been saying, man. Nah. No, because it's these people that keep trying, they keep coming on the videos and be like, oh, it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen, it's impossible, it would never happen. But they, right, exactly, you tried with Adam Thielen. Right. Yes, Hopkins too. <laughs> yeah, Juju got you now, he got you. Yeah, I can't even lie, T.Y. got you too now. Yeah. All right. I let him know. I got you. All right, appreciate it, Easy. All right, later. Let me talk to these people now. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. I was just talking to my boy Eric, not Eric DaCosta. It, it, it wasn't him. It was Eric Costa Day, if you want to call him it. E C D, not E D C. Anyway, the article just came out that the Ravens. They could have interest in Julio Jones if the price is right. Now, I know it's a lot of y'all probably tired of hearing about the possibility of Julio Jones to the Baltimore Ravens. A lot of people have been shutting it down. It's not going to happen. It won't happen. It's impossible for it to happen. It's just not going to happen. You couldn't be more wrong. And I'm not saying that it's a sure thing that the Baltimore Ravens are going to trade for Julio Jones. But to try to shut it down now, you can't. You can't because like I always say, I've been saying it ever since like Madden 12 that it ain't over till it's over. And Julio Jones, is, is he still on the Atlanta Falcons? Yes, he certainly is. Has he been traded to another team? No, he certainly has not. And like we always will continue to say, the cap is cap. There are so many different ways that you can maneuver this thing. There's so many different ways to work around this thing. There's so many different ways. If you really want somebody, if you really, like, really want somebody, if you really want a player, then you can get that player. If you really want them now, you can make it happen. There's no player where it's like, oh, my goodness, that con Well, there's some players where their contract is like, whoa. But you get it, 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 stuff can be worked out. And worked around. Yeah, there will be some restructures that would happen. Yeah, you would have to move around some players, some contracts. You had to do some, some some work under the cap now. But you can get it done. And me, this is just me, maybe. I know some of y'all may disagree. But I would much rather, much rather have a team that is stacked. Like, stacked. Ready to compete for a Super Bowl right here, right now. And I'm not saying that the Ravens aren't, but at the same time, the Ravens with Julio, in my eyes, are a lot more Super Bowl ready than the Ravens without a Julio Jones. Now, I know the Ravens have been winning already without a Julio Jones. They certainly have. We know that. But that's why I continue to say regular season, not worried about regular season at all. And, and again, I don't say that as an arrogant Ravens fan or a cocky Ravens fan. I'm not walking around here, oh man, Ravens are the best in the world. No, I'm not. But we're not worried about the regular season. Where the biggest concern continues to be is in the playoffs. The playoffs. That's where the biggest question marks arise. And especially at the receiver position. Why? Because teams are like, oh, these Ravens, they sure like to run. What are we going to do in the playoffs? We are going to overcommit to stopping that run because the Ravens, they run first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. They decide to pass on eighth, then ninth, tenth. They run again. They love to run and they do a phenomenal job at it. Phenomenal job at it. They are an amazing running team. But in the playoffs, teams overcommit to stopping the run. They do everything and then some to stop in the run. And then they're like, oh. We stopped y'all run. What you getting ready to do now? What's up? Show us what you about to do now. Because when, you, when we know you're going to pass in this playoff time, and you have to pass in this playoff time, 
We know about playoff Hollywood. We'll let him get his. But who else going to step up? Who else going to step up? Who's it going to be? Oh, yeah. Try us. And every time that has happened thus far, well, we know the results. So with a Julio Jones... Imagine, th imagine, and we've already been through the scenario. Shout out to DT Viz especially, because he brought it up too, a lot. Just imagine a scenario where these teams, they try to stack the box. Imagine it. And then Lamar's like, oh, okay, all right. Greg Roman's like, oh, okay, all right. And, and that's probably after getting a tap on the shoulder from like T. Williams or Keith Martin or something. But anyway, they're like, oh, okay, all right. We're going to make an adjustment. Let them try to stack the box and see what happens. You got playoff Hollywood now. But then you got Sammy Watkins too. But then you got a Julio Jones as well. <sighs> Man, it would be filthy. It would be disgusting. It would be so sick, man. All in a good way, of course. So wh why shouldn't the Ravens explore this possibility? Why should they not? Like, some people have been so conditioned to think like the Ravens have thought for the longest when it comes to the wide receivers. And that's being especially cheap at that position. It's time to change that. Change it. Change it. Now, under Eric DaCosta, some things have changed because we've seen he's come up short now. He hasn't made that deal yet, but he's been trying. Now, we know trying, trying doesn't mean getting it done because obviously he hasn't got it done yet. But he's been trying to change that. When we found out about Deion, and I hate bringing it up because it hurts me in my soul down deep. It's tough, man. But DeAndre, he tried to get DeAndre Hopkins. He tried, but it failed. Try with the, but it failed. Try with Jude, but it failed. Try with T, but it failed. It keeps coming up short. Eric DaCosta, this is your chance, man. If you get a Julio Jones, I, I think that will uh, that'll redeem it. Now, again, I, I like DeAndre Hopkins. Now, that's you know, y'all know that's my guy, man. But Julio Jones, yeah, he is right up there too. And some people even feel like Julio Jones is better than DeAndre Hopkins. But I give it to DeAndre Hopkins, especially with the health and everything, too. But anyway, you can't go wrong with either one, is my point. So if you are able to get this Julio Jones deal done, man, that would be amazing. Now, then you think about why, why does Julio just make so much sense for the Baltimore Ravens? Because Julio would be that guy and he would open it up for all the other guys. And now one thing, shout out to my guy JT because he brought this up in one of our conversations. What school did Julio go to? It's a certain school that he went to, certain college that he went to, that one guy on the Ravens is very, very familiar with, and he has strong ties and strong connections to that school, and he loves about anything that comes out of it. That being Ozzie Newsom. And the Ravens have already done business with the Falcons before, with the, with the Hayden Hurst trade. And it wasn't bad business, because the Falcons, they got a nice tight end, the Ravens, they got some draft picks. They gave up some draft picks too, but they got some draft picks. Now, it obviously, it hasn't worked out in the best way for the Falcons. But now, Hayden Hurst's game could be opened up too with the addition of Kyle Pitts. But my point is that the Ravens, they've done business with the Falcons already. So there may be that comfort. And again, the Ravens are in the AFC. The Falcons probably want Julio out of the NFC. They want to get this guy on up out of there. Now, one thing to keep in mind with a possible trade scenario, nine times out, well, actually not even nine times out of 10, I would say maybe, maybe about three point three and a half out of 10, 3.5 out of 10. It's a possibility that if they traded away Julio Jones, that the Ravens could trade them players too.
Now, when I think about that initially, I was saying, well, that would boost up uh, the compensation that the Ravens would be giving up for Julio Jones. But then I thought about it. I'm like, wait a minute. Julio Jones, the reason they're trying to move on from Julio Jones is not because there's a lack of love. No, it's because, and and Julio did request a trade too, but it's because they they have to get under the books. Well, they're under the books. They only have about 600,000 in cap space right now. So they need to sign their draft picks. (laughs) 600,000 ain't going to do it, my friend. It's not going to do it. Um, So Julio, them moving him would free up a lot of money. But uh, if the Ravens were to trade them a player, I think it would have to be a player that's still on his rookie deal. Because if if they trade a player in their second or even maybe third contract, the money may be too high. Because, they're, again, they're trying to get money. They're not trying to take on money. So that's something to keep in mind when thinking about the possibility of this trade. If the Ravens, if it was to go down with the Baltimore Ravens and it included a player. I think it would be somebody, again, that's on their rookie deal. So, anyway, all hope is not lost. Now, one thing about this report, one final thing, and we're going to get out of here, that kind of scares me is that It's being put out there now that the Ravens could be interested. I don't like that. I don't like that because the Ravens, they like to move in silence. They like to move in silence. And when it's put out there to the public, oh, Ravens could be interested in this player. Ravens could be interested in that player. That's usually when it doesn't work itself out. So we'll see what happens, man. We just sitting back, waiting. Relaxing, chilling, vibing, all that good stuff. So we'll be patient as we continue to see what happens with Julio Jones. I'm like, man, my, my guy, uh, my Cole, he couldn't even get no shine. We just dropped a video on the Ravens having him in for a visit, and he couldn't even get no shine. Not even an hour later, boom. Oh, this comes out. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And just like Julio Jones is going to be very, 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 very soon when it comes to his relationship with the Atlanta Falcons, I'm out.